honestly, that strat sounds like something hilarious you would do in a beastman person, like a, a delete beastman run. And like kill that category. But then the thing is, if you manage to pull that off, why are you not just doing turning it into an any percent run? Because that's still hilariously good. Like realistically, that is optimal. Like if someone really wanted to get world record, they could just do that and that is how they have to start their run. And they would start off on a very good note. <laughs> You'd probably very easily get like a sub 15, maybe close to sub 14 Flashman, if it worked out very well. The thing is you're only skipping like seven encounters, which realistically is only saving you Forty-nine seconds. It's not bad. Not the greatest. So that is the frame. Did I get the triple frame perfect? Oh. Okay. I don't even care if I got the encounter. Because guess what? I can run away. Let's go. We're fucking entering this... Thank you for blessing the run. Laser. Snake. It's a dud. <laughs> Leaving square sub four minutes. Yeah. That is a disgustingly early encounter. No way I grab longsword E on this trip. Yo, what's up, Omnipotent? Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for blessing the run, Chrome. <laughs> oh, 
What the fuck is this run? I never have to grab the 800. <laughs> There's no reason to grab the 800. So close. Would have been a gold, I think, if I, uh, if I skipped this encounter. Well, definitely if I skip the encounter. That's still disgusting. I will say this, this will be the last run of the day. I, I started this run much later than I normally would, because I really want to get one run, like, seriously going, but this will be the last attempt of the day. Nice, skip the encounter. This is what happens when you hit the triple frame perfect. Crazy. Counters fine. Choo choo, motherfuckers. I agree with Dex. 100%. Did not trust that movement. Which toy want to be? Zombie, train, or swan? I would want to be a train. Absolutely.
two encounters in this comp seems like practically impossible. But I will believe Smog when he says he's done it. Yo, Crayon, thank you. We're doing pretty all right. Hope you're having a phenomenal morning. Good morning to you as well. Oops. We hit the triple frame perfect trick this frame. Okay, Progbot. Seems he got restarted for some reason. I wonder if someone was adding a new command. <laughs> See, we're having a phenomenal morning later. Understandable. Counter anytime now. Are you, okay, thank God I actually got it. I would have been so fucking terrified. seven seconds, so about the time of one encounter. Depending on how much Flashman wants to bully me. Okay, a little bit more. Punch me, please! Alright. Uh, like, probably two seconds. Two to four seconds of time lost there due to the pattern. Not bad at all. Figured you'd be going to sleep sometime soon, Phantom. Have a good night, my friend. Appreciate you hanging out. Hopefully I can, uh... You can wake up to another PB today. A slightly better one. Yo, heal. Good luck with your lecture. 8 a.m. lecture. Thank you for the good luck, by the way. Lurk with no audio. Understandable. Understandable. Slightly less depressed PB. Hopefully. That's the goal. Like waking up to peanut butter, but only after milk. Interesting, interesting. 
Can't say I've ever heard that. Who holds where? Jagoomba. Also known as Terragoomba on Twitch. It would be a waffle recipe. <laughs> yeah, that's what WR stands for. Yo, D White, catch him, catch him. Good to see you, my friend. Okay. Just for parody. different main RNG. Maybe. Maybe not. It'll be similar. You have to drink a lake after eating it. Does that affect your spreader draw on Virus King? No. Not at all. The draw is completely dependent on nothing. <laughs> it only goes up every frame while you're moving, and in battle, it's not affected at all. So I should still draw it here, unless I hit a bad frame. Main RNG is basically whether or not I get encounters or not. That's the only thing that could have been impacted, is I might have gotten one extra encounter. But the draws were not impacted, because it only matters at the start of a fight. So it begs you, it's a perfect scheme. Ooh. So yeah, I'll probably lose time on this split, just a little bit. Especially if I mess up this next combat too. Hopefully I don't. It's the lake outside my house, I don't need to buy any water. That's a rhythm UMK3 speedrun again. Please just let me draw a white sword. Thank you. Now I don't have to think. Enough with the peanut butter. that time loss was pretty much from the one fight mess up. 
<laughs> Gutsman wasn't perfect either, but... Uh, that's not too bad at all. It's not too bad at all. That was what... Like, 12 seconds off my gold? I'm down with that. Ah, oh, I golded this split too. Fuck me. iPhone 13 coming out, not a single thing will have changed. What is UMK3? Uh, I was gonna ask, but then I had to focus a little bit on that gauntlet. I apologize. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Understandable. Understandable. Did too well before, and now it makes it more difficult to improve on that time. Yeah, I was too good yesterday at the start of the run. Most of my mistakes are either literally Endgame or Bubble Man Desert Man. And I think technically Windstar was bad too. But I'll have to see once the split's done. Okay. Let's talk to everything. That sh hopefully that works. If not, I know what I fucked up. Okay. Get different towers and hope to god we don't see Jade. Now, the reason I don't like going up against a gold is, uh... I guess you kind of said it well. I just don't like losing time, because now what that means is... Like, I'm just gonna have to either get better RNG, or... Because I think my gold is not perfect yet on this split. I still think that there is room for improvement on it. But it's all RNG based. So this run, we are 2k Zinni ahead, which means I can actually skip this, uh... This thing. At 1k Zenny. That would get me a completely extra encounter. Pretty confident I can just go straight to the Prague. I legitimately think that this is just literally on par with my PB, my gold. I think it skips the the easy one in uh, comp 4, this easy encounter. So we're very likely to be on par with the gold split. And then it comes down to Beastman's AI and whether or not he wants to behave, uh, which is never fun.
Does this mean I'm gonna get another Beastman world record? Is that what this means? Technically. Do I still have that accidentally? Six percent, you love to see it. We did skip this encounter, that's nice. Did not skip this one, sadly. <laughs> See, I said it breaks even with my PB, or probably this this time. Unless I was somehow cleaner, I doubt that. that pattern. Okay, we go did it again. did mess this up pretty badly in my PB, huh? Oh yeah, that's because my PB butchered. Lotto codes.
Oops. <laughs> Messed up one code, but much better than last my uh, my BB yesterday. Now I just need the clean folder and uh, Navi Coast edit, and we should be good this I'm not gonna gold, but good. I golded this split? Are you fucking kidding me? This is the split that I always fuck up the most. Of all splits. <laughs> Running up against a gold on this is it's not fun, but... I think the worst is that I lose, like... 20 seconds. Maybe 30. As long as I don't make any gigantic mistakes, that is. As long as I'm going the right way, generally, I don't mess up that badly. Okay, so I can get punished. Today I learned how early that bug sneaker in first encounter is. I did not need to gut straight command code that. Oops. Hardest tower? Very nice, very nice. 8 minutes 7 seconds. That sounds fast as fuck. Unfortunately, I don't know a whole lot about that game, but that sounds incredibly fast. Start. 
dehydrated. Technically, I don't even think taking those chips like that is particularly worth it. I'll we'll use Rat in here. Good. First two fights went about as fast as expected. First fight can be faster, but that was draw dependent. things up a tiny bit. A couple seconds. Arguably one of the best segments of BN3 right here. This segment is actually really cool because you're limited in your choices. So it's like actually kind of interesting like how you handle these fights. I, I don't know if it's necessarily the coolest, but I will admit it's very interesting because, at least from a speedrunning perspective, being able to like optimally handle these fights. Uh, yeah, look at this. Good. Not the fastest, but. Is still a pretty solid fight for that one. Smog, what the fuck are you doing awake? We did have a glot, yes. I figured you can't stay tonight. This is like, what are you, what are you doing awake? I'm shocked. Isn't it like almost 2 a.m. for you, bud? What's up, Dan? I got this draw last time. But yes, appreciate the good luck. You can stay up to like 4 a.m. I guess your, your work does not get you started typically at like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., right? I guess I guess that's kind of the point. So that makes sense. Like three and a half hour earlier tomorrow. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's okay, Smog. If you see a highlight tomorrow, 
you'll you'll know what happened. Definitely messing this fight up. I need to get way better at that particular fight. That is not bad at all. Time loss I personally think is expected there if I actually gold at that split, so. Definitely can still go faster. Big sale this weekend? Understandable, understandable. So you got the uh, the earliest time slot. But anyway, have a great night, my friend. Good luck with work tomorrow, and thank you for the good luck. I will try my hardest to go fast. It's a VIP smog. He's a very, very important person around these parts. So this split, as you can tell, should have a fair amount of time save in it. If you look at my PB versus my best, there's like almost a minute of time save. And my gold, I don't think is fully optimized yet for this new route. Only 13 seconds of time loss isn't bad at all. 30 seconds of time loss to Wurr is more expected. Because Wurr's uh, split is pretty decent. And I do an extra Navi Ghost. Also, that, inc that considered an extra encounter that you're not supposed to get. But I did because I got unlucky. Because of Sneak Run Bug. <laughs> I kept it in for too long. I now understand. I need to find a better place to do that Navico did it. Probably when I'm leaving Yoka. Should be fine. Ooh. Terrible movement. <laughs> All of those frames. Didn't think I did that yet. <laughs> Figured I should. Can I draw a step cross? Step cross? Copy damage hero swords okay? I can also skip this uh, BMD in this comp too, because I got 2k earlier. I forgot that there's a limit on objects. Oh, that's a corner. Decent fight, though. I think it's better than what happened to my PB. So, I'm down. I think I type my Discord message in Twitch chat. It happens every now and then, do not worry. At least you didn't type your password or anything in Twitch chat. BN2 for best network music. I personally agree. I love the uh, post game areas music. And you will know the truth is really good. Um, apartment comps music is disgustingly good. Versus gospel is disgustingly good. Just so many good tracks in that game. 
Uh, what's the rough storyline for this game? Imagine typing password in Twitch chat. Uh, I totally haven't done that before. Smile. Immediately change that password. <laughs> Uh, what is the rough storyline for this game? Basically, uh, Dr. Wily and World 3 are trying to collect the, uh, the four Tetra codes in order to unlock a, uh, prototype of the internet that is very defective and likes to, uh, essentially take over things and damage them in very disruptive ways. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to obtain those four Tetra codes in whatever way possible, and just generally being terrorist organizations, you know, the usual. Uh, so yeah, they're trying to acquire that, and uh, they do eventually acquire that, and we have to therefore put a stop to their plans with the prototype of the internet. Four is the best boss track. Uh, I agree, 4 has the tournament theme, which is really good, and uh, Battle With Yourself is also really good. So both of their boss themes are really, really solid. 6 is a pretty good boss theme too. 3's uh, is honestly one of my favorite ones. Oh, wait, oh, I ran into a corner, my bad. Oh, movement. Show their league passwords? Oh, all their- what? The fuck? The fuck? Six, three, five, four, two, one. That's a interesting list. I'm surprised two is so low for you, personally. I personally put them... Six, two, three, five, four, one for myself. Unless you're just talking music-wise. Already bought the two there. So we got a Lekust, we're good, we've already bought that HP memory, so we're fine, we just have to go buy Scilabs. We can also double check that my Zenny looks fine, it should be, based on all of my math. We technically already have enough Zenny, now we're fine. <laughs> New playthrough of this? Very nice, very nice. Good luck with that, Johto. Hope you enjoy it. Never forget, Dingles? I wasn't gonna forget, don't worry. I actually looked at that message after I was already on my way. I appreciate the reminder, though. You're still getting a light cuss because of Aqua Cust? The Aquaman fight? I got a light cuss the first time on a meme. Uh, I ran a poll in my chat, and I was just like, what do you guys think? Do you guys want me to go Alec, or do you want me to go Aqua? And chat voted for Alec. So I did it, drew Bolt on a few fights, and decided that Bolt is just too strong. And so now I'm getting Alec. It's super strong on the, uh, the Bow Man fight, as you mentioned. There's a couple other fights that it's really good on. Saves time on Desert Man, for example. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shh. To get food, but I hope you PB. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure I will still be running after you've acquired food, but I also understand that you'll probably have better things to do. Such as, you know, devour said food. Appreciate it, though. Good to see you, my friend. 
Thank you for blessing the run. Bubble man, because it already has it has two stage objects. The bubbles count. Since the run, all right, let's relax. We're not even a third of the way done. Okay, let's, let's relax a little bit. Plenty of stuff can still go wrong. Plenty of things. Ah, uh, that sucks. That was slow. Pengy Ice Waves? That one I don't know. So that was pretty much the only bad fight so far. The other fights all went pretty fast. So yeah. This split looks pretty decent. This split looks pretty good. Or getting that encounter is very good because that means that I can effectively manip Bubble Man. But first, we'll just double check. Do we draw it naturally? We do not. still be improved quite significantly. I don't think I read Mail's email, did I? Whatever. We'll assume we did. For now. I don't think I did though. Yep. Rip. Suboptimal. Reset. Oops. I should be holding B there. Just terrified of my freaking B button being weird. that time buffer it crown it was only a one second goal that's not nothing too special should look away more often it's fine it's fine you like this time buffer Just wait until I actually uh, nail Ice Bomb in it first try this split. Manipping for Bolt has typically resulted in me getting... I talked to the prog, right? Like, I did it this time. I actually did it, right? My brain just turned off for a second, and I swear I did it, but like, 
for some reason now, I'm just like nervous that I didn't. <laughs> even though it literally happened not even 30 seconds ago. I I'm so confident that I did it. But... Please be here, Gusman. Okay. <laughs> I would hate to make that mistake for the third time. Yo-Yo, which luckily I do have a backup now, as long as I don't, hopefully I don't fuck it up. That would be kind of embarrassing. I don't want to have to do the backup. I don't want to. It spooks me. Thank you, game. Thank you. I much prefer that. for blessing the run. Appreciate it. Ah, that's a corner. Alright. So we got our typical three encounters. We have our Yo-Yo 1G so we don't have to go left for the backup. Didn't skip an encounter. <laughs> I saw a bolt in that draw. <laughs> Makes me think about bolting just for the fun of it. Good draw. Copy and image step cross is a really good draw in this fight, actually. I am actually okay with this draw, too. I technically messed up. Eh, no, that's faster to do it that way. Messed up the attack plus 10, because technically I could have double spreadered for 70 damage otherwise. I shouldn't have done this. Let's just uh, hit this. A little slow, but... Dude, if I were not capable of hitting Gut Straight... Oh, my runs would be so bad. Gut Straight's so fucking good. I'm so glad I learned how to properly do it. I'm so glad.
almost was just like, I want to go grab another Metro ticket, but I don't need to. this up ever so slightly. Ah, uh, I got hit by a sword twice. That's what happened. When I wasn't supposed to. I don't know which sword I got hit by. Oh. A little slow. I lost like five seconds. I don't know the proper time to read this email anymore. Alright, let's see if we can hit it. Almost hard reset a bit early when my A input messed up. That felt good. Having been to watch in the middle of the night, I'm glad I can provide. Oh no, this Jagoomba. I'm glad I can provide it, Curdle. <sighs> Hitting Ice Ball first try is going to be a lot of time save over my PB. The rest of this split is literally just hit Bar Sword. That's literally all that's left in this split. Am I the world record holder? Absolutely not. I'm currently trying to bop it. I'm 30, 26 seconds off. 27 seconds off, excuse me. My movement. What the heck was that? Alec is pretty optimal. Pretty confident that Alec is the optimal one right now. Can you stop going to the one panel that doesn't have grass? Oh my god, come hither! Please! Am I actually gonna die? Metal Man, why? What the fuck was that? I 
I need to get better at handling that particular pattern. <sighs> I know how to I know how to identify that pattern now, but I need to get better at handling it. All right, chat. We now have a two-minute break where we cannot do anything. We are forced to wait. So uh, this is a good time to get up and stretch. Go grab some snacks, some drinks, you know. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe not snacks right now, but... But yeah. Ugh. I definitely recommend getting up stretching a little bit. Or just, you know, hang out for two minutes. Two-minute break right in the middle. About the one-third point, but yeah. The rest of the split is now just hit bar swords. This is tense, real tense. Mango pop during your two minute break. Let's go. Let's go. A human who can use Varsword? There's many people who can use Varsword. Any BN3 runner worth their salt needs to be able to use Varsword. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. We make use of it a lot during. I'm made of salt? This is true. I am very much made of salt. I... I don't want to say anything bad about other BN runners, but I will admit, I get salty. Very frequently. The fact I PB'd yesterday, and I was mad. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Go beat up Desert Man? We will, we will. That's coming up next. Do, do, 
Dessert, man? Okay, fine. Well, he doesn't exist. What do you want from me? He got cake. What are you talking about? Color man or something? Wacko man? Thick. Ooh, that's a corner. Sad I only- that Metal Man fight really cost me a lot of time, uh... Oh, well. We're only five and a half minutes ahead of world record. <sighs> I want- I want it to be more. <laughs> Because this late game is scary to run against. I'm like not even joking. <laughs> Being four minutes ahead wasn't enough yesterday. And I haven't even done Gamble Manip yet. His endgame is disgusting, yes. It's actually really strong. I literally lost a full minute on the Drillman split. I hope that wasn't too late. Come on. I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> what? Too early? I couldn't have done this the first time. <laughs> Fuck. Third try. Yeah. What I do is I hit a consistent audio cue on the title screen that lines up four audio cue windows. so that you can get all four of them right back to back to back to back. That is the objective. 
Uh, you can always distract me during Gamble Minute. I will not get distracted. So sad that I messed up the first one on the last. Now it's a challenge. You have to make me laugh really hard. <sighs> How goes the run? Uh, run is pretty good, except now I probably lost all of my time save over my PB. Because I failed gambling. Now. This maybe his maybe his hair. Yep, I've noticed. For sure. I mean, that's what you see when you see Mega Man's actual sprite too. Third try Gamble Manip wouldn't have been so bad if it weren't for the fact that I failed it on the very last cue. <sighs> yeah, the objective of that. Technically, World Record does not currently do Gamble Manip. Uh, it wasn't really decided that it was faster all too much until more recently. Uh, someone had timed it at some point. I didn't trust that timing. And they never really provided any proof of it. I went and timed it myself, and with some strat tweaking from some other folks, we determined that it is in fact faster. The reason that you can make it faster is because You, well, no, so literally if Jagoomba did Gamble Minute and like performed about as well, he would save time. Gamble Minute is actually just strictly faster by like a minute. It actually just saves strictly a minute of time. Um, the reason for that minute is because though you have to lose the time of doing Gamble Minute and doing all these extra shopping trips, you have so much money that you can buy enough HP memories to sneak run through hospital comps. You can also buy additional fire chips that allows you to skip a bunch of out of the way fires in hospital comps. And because you've already gotten the HP necessary, you can skip a couple HP memories as well. The other thing is you can buy all of the aqua chips you need during a single shopping trip, which saves you time during the netfire split. So all of these things add up to indicate that Gamble Manip is in fact faster to do. However, doing it third try probably breaks about even with uh, not doing it. <laughs> and uh, because I did it so slowly, I probably, like I said, I'm going to lose maybe a minute and a half, which is really bad. I am not looking forward to seeing the final time of the split. Even being even with my PB means I'll keep the run going. Because that it, being even with PB just means I need to get lucky in late game and I can still do it. Just a little bit luckier. I was supposed to go shopping. Doesn't matter.
Yeah, actually hitting comp 2 movement would be big. For sure. So there's the shopping trip. You just bought all of the fire chips we need, all of the aqua chips we need, and we bought extra fire chips to skip some plants. I'm morally obligated to say this again. Do not pull a smog. And do not pull a Rish. Beautiful. We did it. Pulling a Smog is skipping the HP memory. Pulling a Rish is going to the Metro right now because, for whatever reason, I don't know where I'm going. general just hitting the alpha comps movement would be pretty big could technically save me enough time alone but I got really unlucky in my PB too Thanks for the gift sub. Who who sniped you earlier? Who was it? Let me double check. Is it Meta Ruler who went to sleep already? Oh no, you got you got sniped by Uber. Uber Geek. Our resident ship poster. still do that a little bit faster. I'm still like doing it not the greatest, but feels alright. All things considered. Good luck on the run. Thank you, thank you. Sword the bolt. Uh, 
unlucky that I had to two turn that fight. But I think that was still better than my PB, technically, so. I think that fight went disastrously in my PB as well, too. So, we're making up some of the time. Eh, not really. You can't really make up the time loss from Gamble now. But, at the very least, it won't be so bad. Oh, God. Yeah, we're already losing time. So, yeah, we're going to lose time to my PB, actually. Unless... I don't know. Yeah, we're going to lose time to my PB. The question is, how much? Because I believe in my PB, I started losing time to world record. During, like, right at the start of the first fight. But then again, it did not have the cleanest of fights. So it wouldn't be like a full minute, it'd be like 40 seconds. Hmm. Let's see. What we... Spent way too long thinking about this. Uh, that'll work. Such an annoying draw. I had to three turn it? Come on. God, give me something. I, there's just nothing I could have done on that fight. I took all the chips I could. It was... There's no way I could have dealt with the mole turn one. Dear God. Well, no, it's just like, with that draw, um, you can't hit him with step cross, ever. And you can't hit him with rock shot, ever. Like, unless you area grab, which is not in my folder. So those were the two draws that I've had, both fights, I believe. That's what we want every fight to have looked like. <laughs> For reference, we are expecting to lose two and a half minutes to world record. We expect to, due to a different route. We save all of that time back, uh, either, yeah. We save about three and a half minutes back, technically, later on during Plant Man and Flat Man's Woods. <sighs> Imagine a world where I just drew Varsword on the, all those fights. <sighs> Only 40 seconds of time lost to my P Like, still being a minute ahead of my PB is really good. Because, like, I... 
as long as I play as well as yesterday, that's enough. You know? It sucks that I would get a world record. Like, if I get a world record and it has third try gamble manip in it, I'm going to be sad. But. I wouldn't complain too much. It's like, I only need to be 27 seconds faster. To desks, why don't you? Like, I'm still waiting for a good gold on this split. I think that I can do way better, but my PB made a mistake route wise in hospital comps, burned an extra fire, which was already bad. Hmm. I just want to drop our sword <laughs> on fights where it's like actively just the strongest option. Like there is no other option. There's like really nothing else you can draw on uh, on moles. Moles just, okay, that's a lie. My PB had the coolest fight and I actually want to go back and clip it now that I think about it. Had the coolest fight versus the meta gels in the mole. I completely forgot about that. That was the coolest way to deal with mole ever. Fucking air shot, rock you bolt. Get destroyed. Thinking about that makes me happy. Thinking about Bolt makes me so happy. <laughs> Bolt is just... Mm, so good. I still, ugh. you know, what I didn't do. Didn't get mod tools.
We did it. We drew a farce. We drew two of them! Now please, can I like, have that happen again on the next two fights? That would be kind of cool. At least one on the next fight. At least one on the next fight. I'll be happy. First example of skipping an HP memory because we already have the HP with Gamble Minute. fast. extra one because we didn't get heat via earlier. Doo -doo. We can skip going over to the right, which is really nice. I saw one and got terrified again for a second. This is another extra one we have to burn for not getting heat bee earlier, and therefore not being able to chip order a heat bee. My mistake yesterday was I burned the one up into the right, but I don't need to at this point. All I need to do is run up here, burn this. Welcome back, Heal. Hope your lecture was good. Uh, because I burned that extra plant, I burned <laughs> a plant that gave me an encounter. Uh, so I lost some time due to that. <laughs> I can draw a double bar sword on this fight. I do take a good gold, though. I'll always take a good little gold. We take those.
<laughs> what? Deleted. I was like, what does that say? <laughs> I just need to jam out to the music more. Oh, did I drop copy damage? Fuck. I could have been a little bit faster then. I could have copy damaged the, the guy and then try slashed. But my gold doesn't do that. So we're still on gold pace, as far as I'm concerned. My gold also has to get the extra bar sword that, like I did. It doesn't have to get the extra bar sword like I did, because it was. They got it from fucking Chip Trader. A legend. Imagine using the chip trader though. This is what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Three, three var swords. By the cannonball? <laughs> oh no, I got hit by a Metar. That's right. I got hit by a Metar before I could use my Varsar. Let's go grab my last reg up of the run. Adds 10 seconds to the split.
god, I was going the right way, because I zoned out for a brief second. <laughs> I just clocked out for a moment. Happens to me very often, I won't lie. Messed up this fight in my PB. I do remember that. Don't forget! Muscle memory take the wheel, I'm taking a nap. Exactly. This is what I- so that's what I love about speedrunning, is when I get to a point that I can do that in a run. You don't understand, that's one of the reasons I love BN6 so much, is I can just let muscle memory take over for 80% of the run. <laughs> and it will probably get me a sub 220. I messed up more in my PB. Than I did in this run. But based on what I said, I should be losing 10 seconds. And based on what I remember from my PB, I should save more than just 2 seconds. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Sub 320 that is. What is the world record for this game? 2 hours, 53 minutes, 0 seconds on the dot. We are almost there. We've had many a runs that could have bopped it. Many a run. Uh, I think my PB yesterday was minus 26.7, actually. Because, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't show the, like, the tenths of a second. Oops. So we just need... What's it called? We literally just need 27 seconds. That's all. Yeah, I PB'd yesterday uh, by, like, a minute. And technically I was upset because I'd thrown that run and it should have popped World Rank. <laughs> Man, hopefully this, this, this is looking pretty promising for now. I'm just hoping I don't make any really stupid mistakes. Will you go on after you get where I think at this point I am obligated to PB again. If this run PBs, only because I cannot allow myself to have a third try gamble manip as my PB. I just can't, <laughs> can't justify. <laughs> can't let that happen. But, but, I did promise Dr. Swalman. If any of you guys have ever seen uh, his one of his recent videos, he did a video on RNG manipulation in the Battle Network series. And he said that uh, the Battle Network 3 world record uses RNG manipulation to have a good time. I, I, want, I unfortunately corrected him because that's not true. RNG, or the world record, actually doesn't do any RNG manipulation currently. Whereas I am doing quite a bit of it, not, to, not gonna lie. Uh, so I told him, I was like, alright, here. Uh, I will make your, your video correct by getting world record with RNG manipulation. Damn, I am only going to save like two seconds. Not even, I'm going to lose time! I swear my PB yesterday was worse than this. Maybe I'm misremembering. Thinking about a different run? Oh well.
I have to go get the bubblers. Beat white. What, you're saying Bop Jagoomba in white too? Alpha Omega next. I did promise I would do an Alpha Omega run if I ever bopped Jagoomba in BN3. I did promise that. He's both incidental and unintentional. Yeah. Well, he doesn't even soft reset or hard reset once, is the thing. So there's no way he could be doing any sort of manipulation. Is the thing. He doesn't even soft reset for like a GMD to like re-roll its contents or anything like that. Or to like save its contents, I should say. But yeah, I've been working very heavily with some other runners in the community. Trying to figure out what is optimal and what isn't optimal. Try to add in RNG manipulation where it is optimal, etc. Is there any benefit? Yes. Doing manipulation loses you time compared to getting the exact same draw without manipulation. You're just losing time for consistency. However, <laughs> there's a lot of times where the best draw is like not realistic to get without manipulation. However, you can always just not manipulate, get the perfect draw, and you saved time. Which is why I don't manipulate pretty much anything past Desert Man. Because at that point, the optimal draws become much more reasonable to get. It's like... If you were... Uh, If you are manipulating past this point, you're manipulating for like a Var Sword, which I have four of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Getting lucky is always the fastest strat. It is. Uh, unfortunately, at this point, Gamble Manip sh has been strictly determined to be faster. Unless you want to YOLO Gamble, which is a one in four to the fourth. YOLO Gamble, because Gamble strats are faster. It has been determined to save one minute. Regardless of all of the other manips, Gamble Manip has been determined to like just strictly be faster because of what you get out of it. More than 16. It's 256. Because it's four to the fourth. Er, wait, yeah. Yes? Six, four, 16, 64, 256. Yes. Now I'm gonna have to do that, everyone? No, not cute. It's to the fourth. You do one in fours four times. And you have to hit it all four times. One in two fifty-six. I hope I didn't forget any fires. Uh, based on my number of aqua chips, I didn't. <laughs> We're good. Yep. Thank you, TJ, for confirming what I was saying. Because <laughs> while I was pretty sure I was right, I. I am speedrunning, and we all know what happens when I'm speedrunning and trying to do math at the same time. Friendly reminder, never ask me to convert time zones in the middle of a speedrun. Thank you, thank you. 0.39%. Not bad odds. You have a better chance of that happening than you do uh, ice ball encountering ice ball without fish. Or of getting double var sword, which has happened in a world record run before. Shout out to Jagoomba for being absolutely disgustingly lucky. But yeah, you have to do 256 runs to try and get Gamble Manip, or Gambling, without Manip. 
and then that's the fastest option. Yellow 64k is time worth? Probably not. Time is an illusion. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I forget why I was trying to do it in BN6 that one time. It's still the only time I have ever messed up. <laughs> Uh, underground to evil spirits. <laughs> this is the only time I've ever messed it up, I think, and had to restart. Duckies, true. 10 team parlay bet, this is true, better odds. It's like thinking about it, it doesn't sound too unreasonable, but then you realize you have to play the game for over an hour. 256 times, so you have to spend 256 hours just to try and get one run, or it happens. Now that's assuming pure RNG. Uh, technically speaking, you can probably increase your odds slightly by knowing around the RNG value that you get there, typically. You could technically do something along those lines. I don't recommend it. Getting hit by lightning twice. <laughs> oh, I love getting 400 Zenny. It's so great. I really need that money right about now. Not fuck up the rest of the run. Exactly. So you have to have a good run. Get to that point, And then not fuck up. You're talking... <laughs> Gamble Manip is the, is the play. If you want to be as optimal as po possible, Gamble Manip is the play. Then there's like other things to consider, like the optimal draw on Flashman and Beastman is crazy. The optimal draw on Beastman is a nine chip draw. Nine. You need nine chips. Flashman is at least four chips. You can reasonably have something along those lines happen. The gauntlet fights are probably worth mi like everything that I manip. I'm pretty confident is just worth manipping. Um, you could argue getting mod tools early and not manipping fights like Gutsman and Metalman is uh, is worthwhile. I could I could hear that that argument. That requires picking up extra money though, which uh, will lose you some time compared to the manip. So. Thinking about it, I don't know anymore. I don't know. Everything that I manip, I'm pretty confident is like the strat now. How does the internet light on fire? Uh, you help Mr. Match, this guy that you knew from BN1 who lit your stove on fire, is the first scenario. Uh, so. He, like, helps you out by telling you where all these evil navvies are, and, uh, you, you, as a result, you start to trust him, uh, you're actually about to get deleted at one point, and, uh, Mr. Match's navvy comes and saves you, so he's just like, alright, he's my bro now, you know? Uh, so, as a result, he asks you to help install these new programs, or these, uh, this new data into these programs, that's supposed to help them relax a bit uh, by like heating them up quite a bit uh, which actually is intended to light the internet on fire how's the run going we are flying we're doing pretty well uh Tora job so far has been the only really bad split desert man had a bad metal man fight too but uh those are the two worst things that have happened this run everything else has been pretty decent so, uh, pretty happy with this run so far, and just hoping to keep it going. Hope you're doing well today, Barbie. Good to see you, my friend. 
where the internet can be underwater and where you make soup for your navy. Oops. Gambling? Yeah, I failed gamble minute three times. Twice. Got it third try. There we go. The logistics of how the internet could be on fire? A bunch of progs. Just exploded. What do you what do you mean? No, I haven't gotten a pet yet. I will say, if I ever get a pet, I would get a dog, personally. I'm more of a dog person. However, I still love cats. Stops being a criminal in BN5? I mean, he doesn't exist in BN5. Should just jointly get a dog. <laughs> Whose house does it stay at all the time? <laughs> he's also not a criminal. Yeah, he's not a criminal in six. Internet catches fire if you heat up the ones and zeros before putting them online. <laughs> you have three? Aww. Yeah, my, uh, my parents have a... We used to have a dog when I was living at home, and uh, unfortunately that dog has passed away, but they've gotten a new puppy since then, another black lab. God! Pardon Sean despite him being a criminal, creating a criminal empire. Tries to kill multiple people on many occasions. Don't talk about it. Don't, don't talk about it. Alright, if we have a clean flam man fight. We should save time on PB here, which is really good. In general. I'm gonna go for the charge shot first. Pause buffer strengths. <laughs> With that draw, I could legitimately kill base. If this weren't if this weren't cheating, I could legitimately have killed base. He would have gotten so destroyed if he weren't cheating. BTTV won't show you images. Yeah, pause champ is uh is that. <laughs> uh so we lost two minutes to that. Eh. Interesting. I think Sean doesn't have some extenuating circumstances but this kid could be a mess. Yeah. Absolutely. You're not wrong at all. Now we see him in this game. We literally see him like in 30 seconds. How is work been? Quitting my job in two weeks. That's how it's been. Now my job's been fine, uh, but I've been having some, some mental and physical health things going on. And uh, I think some of it is due to anxiety about work. So uh, I'm taking a break. So I put in my two weeks literally today. Ah! Give me that. Thank you. What do I do? <laughs> Give me a sec. Sorry, I don't forget where I'm going. I am still a software engineer at Amazon. within the Amazon Advertising Org. Wow, 
Ah, what am I doing? That was me being bad, not my controller. Normally I would like we the Sean. Sean! <laughs> he literally shows up in that scene and that's it. <laughs> that is all, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. Have a nice break and heal mentally and physically. Yeah, appreciate it. I am looking forward to it. What a cameo it was. Didn't look like a sheep. time to not drawing Varsar, but it also lost time because of a bad navy post that I'm thinking about it. Sending some good vibes? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I have appreciated everyone's support over the last several years of running Battle Network and whatnot, and streaming in general. Appreciate all of you. Just be VR chat. Maybe. Maybe. The sick kid we help in this game also is heavily implied to be operator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have heard that uh, fan theory about Mamoru being Serenade's operator. I mean. It is 100% confirmed that Mamoru's dad is literally the creator of the internet, or whatever, so. It's also soft confirmed. I haven't heard about the interview. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. I'm beat. Working on the newest game. Ooh. Thought you weren't gonna make it? Well, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. It's good to see you again. Passed on to him by his dad. Is who you probably think it is. Ah, so it's base. Yes, excellent. Base operates Serenade and then kicks his ass. Genius. Good work, Capcom. Don't know why that just popped into my head, but. <laughs> Still don't, oh. Let's just drop our sword, shall we? Yeah. I'm glad we're on the same page here so far, game. I know it's only been one fight, but let's keep it going. Still don't have mod tools, by the way, in case I didn't make that clear. Yo, Fred, thank you for the good luck.
It's not even worth buying mod tools after this. We skipped that encounter again. Did you play this during my childhood or find the game? I played this as a kid thanks to my brother, literally TJ, in chat. Uh, when I was start when I was getting old enough to play games. Uh, yeah, so he got me into the series when I was pretty much old enough to play, which was when BN3 first came out. So BN3 White is actually my first Mega Man Battle Network game. I never beat Alpha as a kid. Good. Another Rish Origins. <laughs> God damn it. What's up, Ghost? <laughs> No. Luckily that draw was good enough. So I'm gonna wait this one. I couldn't beat out and looking manipulating the shit out of him. True. Very true. Oh my god, I don't have the backup for this. Oh. I'm terrified. Good enough. Unironically, I think this is a really good split. I didn't swag. How dare I? LOL at Shake. Shake has made itself useful every now and then, and I love it. <laughs> Oops, I don't know if that went through. It's like, there's no point, because I would have to do a whole extra Navi Gust just to add Reflect. I don't think getting Mod Tools is worth it at this point. I do think, typically, yes. Get mod tools. If you're speedrunning Battle Network 3, get mod tools. It's, it's good. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Kept being lazy and forgetting. And get where if it's not worth it. I mean, that's the goal, yes. <laughs> that is, in fact, the goal here, Ghost It. It's always the goal. <laughs> true. It's true. I hate it, but it is true. Yes. Uh, there's an all icon speedrun called Alpha Omega. Um, basically, you have to get all seven title screen icons which unlocks the final version of alpha which you then have to go beat that is the point of the that particular speed is effectively 100 percent
Been here since you were a baby. You didn't know that all too well. It's not wrong. A baby running Star Force. True. Yeah, that's me. Can you shake it? Yes, you can shake glitch Alpha Omega. This motherfucker. Thirteen hours, yes. Alright, that gauntlet was pretty good. One bad fight, probably lost like five seconds. All things considered, much better than yesterday's run. <laughs> What's shake glitch? You can use exclamation point shake. But. But. Uh, to briefly explain it, it is basically a glitch where you use a chip after throwing the shake. So while it's a projectile in the air before the shake weight actually spawns, you can overwrite its damage value by using another chip. And a lot of chips happen to have a damage value of something like 10,000. For example, uh, Navi plus 20, Wood plus 30, and Air Shoes all for some reason have like damage value of 10,000. And so you overwrite Shake's damage value to deal 10,000 damage per hit. And it just kind of fucks things up. Unfortunately, it's very slow to set up on a lot of bosses, uh, which is why you don't see it used more uh, in this particular speedrun. I pretty much only use it on Alpha. It's also why Shake is literally in the folder. How does that run get the other version? Oh yeah, you have to use Wii U VC or you have to... Uh, trade over those specific chips is the only other option. They mean flinching out of throwing animation. Yes, if you don't flinch, yeah, if you don't flinch, um, there's actually a delay. There's like lag, end lag at the end of the shake animation for whatever reason, where you can't use another chip. But getting hit cancels that end lag for whatever reason. TJ was born before me, so he has to be better than me, right? One frame to glory. Wii U VC, it gives you the opposite versions chips immediately. This also means that a lot of Alpha Omega runs end up using um, the base GS Giga chip. Ooh, I should not be getting hit against this guy. That fight actually went decently for once. Crazy! Yeah. Uh, we're actually gonna hold off on Bolt just in case. What is this? I'm drawing VAR swords and I'm going fast? <gasps> Shit. 
shit. <laughs> Get out of my way, orange shirt game. <laughs> first draw suck, though. I mean, first draw on what? Uh, Beastman? I f I'm fine with that. That's like five seconds, maybe. All right, guys, you want me to be technical here? Yes. Doing Gamble Manip third try actually advances the RNG that affects draws, which is potentially why we're actually drawing Varsaurs right now, because we had to do it third try. By saving those five seconds? True. Uh, totally not by actually hitting Gamble Manip first try. <laughs> Who would do that? Crazy. Ah, let's go the right way, shall we? Rip that turn for me. No one say anything about this run not having mod tools, okay? The reason I say that is because I'm very confident that if I get world record, Terra's gonna want to do a world record analysis. Okay? Terra's gonna want to do a world record analysis, and I want to see his reaction when I just don't get mod tools ever. 130xx. Oh. You know what? They'll have earned it. <laughs> They'll have earned it. It's a bait then? Yeah, I want to see people's reaction when I just literally don't get something that you should get. <laughs> The one thing I will admit, though, going for Reflect, while it's really good as a backup option, does lower your custom by one. So I am getting one extra chip every draw. And that one extra chip could be Varsword every single time when it's important. It's super consistency, yeah. Like, if you actually wanted to go as humanly po or fast as humanly possible, Mod tools is technically just slow. Just get the right draw, nerd. Terra is definitely not watching this VOD right now, okay? Well, this run. Uh, wrong. Yoga. Oops. Did you say Terra is definitely not watching this run? He will comment on it, and it'll be funny. Simple. You just you just draw Varsword. 
It's just so simple. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, go to this one. Did I adjust my route from yesterday? I did. I did. Hello. Kappa. Can't even type Kappa. <laughs> Mini K. <laughs> I just wasn't doing this yesterday. Wow. Wonder if Chrono X will be finished anytime soon. <laughs> My good friends, sir. We're our grandchildren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember when Bowman used to kill the run? Because Rish would never do the parson. Shut up, KC, we don't talk about those times. And Mother 4 slash Oddity. <laughs> Holy shit, that- just humming that brought up a fucking memory from elementary school. There's like a song that just popped into my head that we used to sing. It was like a- it was like a spooky song that my music teacher tried- holy shit, that was so random, what the fuck? My brain. was so close to being fucked up. You might remember it, TJ, because I'm pretty sure it's a song that our old music teacher would have probably taught you, even, like, being older. I just can't- I can't recall the name of it, I just know that that, like, was generally very similar to it. No. This is a speedrun? Okay, yeah, this is a speedrun. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Thanks, Ghosted. Always know I can count on you to believe in me. I don't know. I mean, TJ, you could totally do a poll like that. I give you full permission. Oh, I can't believe I actually got that movement. I just yelled. Oh my god. I fucked up my movement because I didn't believe I was actually gonna get it. How else am I gonna ruin the run? <laughs> Gotta give it my luck. True. As I sleep is a good idea. <laughs> wow, thanks, Ghost. How dare you? Ah! It's 
stupid tank. I need to learn to clip through it the other way. Alright chat, is this a speedrun? Yes or no? Please answer the poll. I need to know. I'll still never understand the tanks in the streets. It's a dud. Thank you for blessing everyone. Appreciate it. Out of my way, old man. Thank God. No soft lock today. Did you really put the answer as? The, the options as yes and yes. <laughs> you troll. Is clipping really fast or just swag? Um, it can be fast if you're really good at it. Uh, I do it mostly because it probably breaks about even and it's swag. Validates they're untrue. Very true. Has the must do swag. You made this poll last forever. <laughs> Alright, chat. Do you think I can finish the run before this poll ends? Five minutes? Okay, never mind. It was a speed pull. Uh, it's probably five minutes. Beard man, you will be remembered. in four word attempts after this. <sighs> Probably not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we will always run away every single time. First try. Because we're at max HP.
You should hold every... <laughs> that was my goal a while back. <laughs> Remember to wiggle! I did it! I fucking knew I was gonna go too late. Alright, we're gonna take this nice and slow. <laughs> what is the goal here? Uh, my goal here is to world record. Draw in this. <sighs> All right, let's not go for anything fancy, shall we? Ah, oh, shit! I don't trust this at all. Oh no. not like that one bit. I did do something slow, that is true. Right, what does this look like? It's fine. Never mind. Not too bad. Give me that. No! <laughs> supposed to catch me, Claw. <laughs> and we skip the encounter to make up for it. I'm down. Double bar sword. Great to everyone. I'm proud of each and every one of you for making sure that it tied. Well done.
Chrome. Don't say things like that. Don't split yet. Don't split yet. Oh wait, no. A uh, little slow, but that's because of nerves. I don't have <laughs> I tried to reflect. I didn't have it. God. So someone asked, like, three hours ago, if I was gonna go for sub 250, I think it was Kamari. Oh, he asked me in Lurking's chat. There's your answer. Is this were? Absolutely. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so good because after Gamble Manip, I swear to god, I played phenomenally. I I feel I oh my god, I played so fucking out of my mind. Oh my god, I have not been this happy in so long with a PB. Oh my god. I want to go back and say thank you for everything. For all the GG's and stuff. Thank you for the five gifted wonder. Thank you for the thousand bits again, Colonel. Waffle recipe has been acquired. Oh my god. TJ, thank you for the five gift. 15? Why does it say 15? Wait, what? Oh, they've gifted 15. Five. All right, there we go. <laughs> I can read. Oh, vicious. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let me, let me go back. All right, we're doing this. We're going back. We're reading all the GGs. Let's fucking go. Starting off, Stragger. Ghost it, saying sub 250. Chrome. Dingles, Aura, let's go. It's KC, thank you for the five gifted subs. Forte, Wonder, Draco, TJ, Miles, Barbie, Lurking, Heal, Timelink, dude. Uh, there's too many. I don't know who I'm missing and who I'm not. Uh. <laughs> Megido, Bull, Johto, Fred, Orko, Stalker, Stalkor, there we go. Shout out to Draco for the double air shot strat, I will say that, I will say that. 
Cyberfunker, it, it's a dud. I think I already said someone to heal. A booty hole. Nice. Good name. You were here. Ter Yo, Jagoomba, you were here. What's up, my man? Thank you for the nice run. But definitely a very good run. And I will say, like, 72% of it was just because of how good your run was. Just trying to make it better than that. Is this were? Yes, Dr. Pringle. This this is, in fact, were. Or, wait, Aura, thank you for the five gifted subs. Am I over a hundred subs right now? Did you guys... 110 sub points? What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? Y'all are crazy. Does this mean no more being three runs? Dude, I fucking- this is third try gamble minute. Remedy? What's up, dude? Welcome back. I don't know if I'm gonna do more BN3 temps. Like, I- I don't want- I want to, because I don't want my PB to have third try gamble minute. But at the same time... Yo, have a great night, Chrome. Thank you for sticking around. Glad you could enjoy this moment. Mork, yo, what's up? <sighs> Peiko. Total of 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it cook for a while. Well, this is any percent black. This is BN3 black. True, true, Casey, true. No, yes, yes, no. <sighs> All right, chat, you know what time it is. Split say blue. All right, you got me. <laughs> you guys know what time it is. It's time for my emulator to crash. Give me a second. Wait, it didn't crash. I loaded the wrong fucking ROM anyway, <laughs> but it didn't crash. Uh, oh, that's right. I know why. Where is it? Is this gonna have the right save file? It probably won't, won't it? it. Fuck. Give me a second, chat. I have to fix this. Yes, this means that tomorrow I can, in fact, take a break and play Among Us with Team BN. This is, like, actually one of the reasons I wanted to, to have this done. <laughs> uh, it feels so fucking good. It feels so, I feel so great. Uh, where is it? Save Ram. Mega Man. Battle Network 3. Uh, hello? Excuse me. I need that to be put. Here, let me, let me close this real quick. Let me do this. Replace. Okay. Let's reopen. Ah, shit. I am obligated now to do an Alpha Omega run at some point. This is true. Alright. Here we go, chat. Are you ready? Are you ready? Lan, want to see my impersonation of a PET's grandfather? Okay, sure. Thank you. 